I thought driving would help, an escape vehicle. But even a turbo engine isn't faster than the sandstorm gaining on me, and my insights are the frayed upholstery of a car worn out before its time, held up by pins jabbed into its bumps and bruises, and surrendering to the stillness of traffic jams. I worry about driving with one hand. I'm not there yet. But as I drive, I circle through my music and cut my chest open with my bare hands, vomit, vomit and venom, a river of black poisonous soot cascade out. I don't know when the stream will stop. I am juice falling back down the straw. I am a car sliding down a crowded ramp. Every time it tries to move forward, there is no inertia to pull me up and you can't do it. But you share your smoothie with me and I would drive us both away from myself if I could because and but objects in the mirror may not be real at all. And how can you love when your brain has been leased out as a space to experiment on animals and all communication is constantly in the process of replicating its own failure. I love you. I hate you. I love you. It's not your birthday. I tried to save it for your birthday, but I can't. It comes pouring out of me. I tell you, you make me want to stay alive because that's all I ever wanted when I wanted to disappear. And now I don't know what to do, how to dig that life out from under the graves of decaying bitterness and resentment that have buried it deep inside. As God, tell him our love is not heavenly. It is as now as now can be. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I don't trust myself or the world, but I hope to fuck to our great fucks. May they never rest in peace, that even when we die, we always stay alive.